Right, so I've taken about seven, seven uh, slips. I've taken from here, I'm growing them in water. I've got them in a glass of water. Uh, here's our orange one. I've only got one off here, one decent sized one. These ones here are not growing very well. That was put in the same time as this, and I've got quite a few of here. And this is a new one, which I also have done, which I've taken two off here, I think, so far. So there's a few still there, look, one, two, three, about seven or eight, ten. A few on the bottom there as well. And we've got some in the jar here. These have been in the jar for about three days. Is uh, I think there's one, two, three, four, and some already had roots on, and some haven't. But as you can see, the roots are growing pretty well. So there's somewhere. <clears throat> and all we got to do, we'll just snip these bottom leaves off. That. And put that straight into our glass of water. Easy as that. I'll snip it off here. Oh, See? Then the glass of water. Now this is quite a small one. This one. It should be alright. Now we've also got some this purple one here. Look at the root system on that. There's a few long ones in here. I'm gonna pull this off. Uh, roots and all. I'm gonna save some roots. See that? I'll try this side. There you go, just gonna pull that off nice and gently. You should better grab some roots with it as well. There you go. Now that you can put them to the ground straight away. Just cut these off. And I'll put that as you want to chop jars. I'll put this one in here. There you go. Another one here we can pull off as well. That one's got a few roots on it. Just, you can just snap it off with your fingers like that. And this one here too. I'll pull this one. That one's got no roots, but it's alright. We'll just snap it off all with scissors. Trim those bottom leaves like that. And we'll put them in the water. Old Coke bottles, the big bottles, two litres. And uh, cut it there, draw some holes in the bottom. Put a bit of potty mix in here. Put our Keep it in there, just like that. And just put some. That's what we've got to do. Kumara, or sweet potato, is so easy to grow. It's like a weed. From the old Morning Glory family. There you go. So. It'll grow nicely in the end until we're ready for planting. Right, so there's our tips all potted up. So they could go in the ground as they were with the roots like that, but because it's still not quite warm enough to plant yet, I just put them in these little old Coke bottles with holes in the bottom and a bit more growth before we plant them. Here you can see the the orange 
Kumara. And here is the purple one. Hello everybody. I just picked these four here off my Kumara plants. We pulled them off with a whole lot of roots intact as well. These four can go into the ground right now. If the ground was warm enough. But I'm going to put these into pots. We saw another three weeks away from planting yet, but three weeks away, so look at that. Four nice ones there. We're going to be planting these two kumara here today. And we're going to trail these vines, hopefully, up this trellis here. Bud and bone. Sheep poo. And that's when I'm going to plant them. I'm going to plant them on a bit of an angle. Put one there and one here and we'll just trail up this vine up the trellis. Okay, a bit of a line like that. And then I'm gonna grab this out of here. Can you see that alright? Yep. Ah, here it comes, look at that. Big root ball. Okay, so we're gonna put this like this and lay it down like that. Just cover that up, there we go. And just that sticking out. And it should encourage your kumara or sweet potato to grow along this bit of line here. You can even go a bit deeper if you want to. And it's about there, here we go. And put that through here. seat, put her in and we'll cover it up. There we go, planted. All done. I plug this garden bed here over and there are our five kumara we're going to plant in this bed here. The last one I've got here, this is the orange kumara which uh, took a while for this one to grow, I've only got one. We get no sun in this part of the garden here in the morning, only in the afternoon. So you get about six hours of sun in this area here. Last year and before I've managed to grow some tomatoes in this area here with an afternoon sun over summer and they grew some very nice tomatoes. So hopefully this kumara here, sweet potato, will grow nice in this area here and we don't get much sun. Plant this orange one first. It's only a small one, so put it like this. Oxalis. Here we go, just plant it up like that, 
Beautiful. Another bucket of compost mix for these plants. I don't want to skimp on feeding them properly, so I made another mix. This bucket here will probably go into two holes. A couple of orange kumara. I was, I was trying to grow, I was trying to grow slips of them, but uh, these ones I find are really hard to grow. Orange ones, for some reason. These ones haven't grown much at all. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to plant both of these into this hole here, and we'll see how they grow over summer. Put in here some blood and bone in sheep poo. I'm just going to place them in here. We'll just have the the leaves shown. Mm, Oxalis. The garden's full of it. Okay, so the same over here. I'm going to plant this over here. With the roots pointing down a bit. Okay, just give them a water and then we'll see how they get on over summer. It's growing quite nicely. Gave yeah, it a weed the other day and got rid of a little bit of women oxalis seed. It keeps on growing but looking really well. So this is the orange one. And then these are the, the purple ones for those. Use the kumara I've got growing on the trellis. I just pull the runners, run the runners through like that. It seems to be doing okay at the moment. Putting a bit of a like a hedge type thing. Rather than spreading it on the ground. We little bit leaves spread up so and I've actually also mounded it up too, mounded up this soil around here, pulled all the oxalis out and mounded it up. So they're looking okay. Pretty happy about that. The other side, do you see? I'll just grab this and I'll just put it through here. There you go. Akumura, that's the old uh, purple one. Now, this is a bit like opening up a Christmas present. You don't know what you're going to get. Ready. I can feel one already. Oh, look at that. What's that in there? It's got little bugs in it, look. Hmm. That's no good, is it? Hopefully. Oh, that one we have to eat tonight. This is the orange one. So we've got bugs in this one, little insects. But we can cut around it, hopefully.
Well, look at that. A few little insects have been in there. It's a bit of a bugger. These ones here be nicely, will be nice roasted up. Oh yeah, look at that. Mmm. That one there, just the orange ones. Not the red ones, didn't get damaged. That's quite a nice one if it was. Didn't let's see, can't really save that one. But we'll let the hair dry out for, for a couple of days. Hopefully the rats don't come and get it. Right, good morning. Today we're going to be digging up these two kumara. Purple ones I've got going under here. So we're going to be digging all that up today. Our next start of tubulars. Our next start of kumara. I can see one right there. Look, there's one right sticking out of the, out of the dirt there. So we're going to be digging up these ones today. So stay tuned and we'll see how many we get in this lot here. End of March, this one's here also on trellis. Just helps to control the Kumara vine. Oh, sun chow. See a couple of you poking their head out from under there. Hopefully I've got a few purple one and one more over there. Exciting. This one here. I did mound these up, these ones. Let's see a couple of you already. Yeah. If we dig away from, if we dig away all the soil here, so I don't break them. There's a big one here. Here we go. Ho 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 ho, look at that. That's a beast. That's nice. Whoa. Definitely the biggest in my garden so far. That one. Whoa. Three, four, five, little one. Oh, wow. Oh, is there any more in there? What was that? Oh, there's some more on the bottom here. This is from one hole. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that beast. And this is from the other hole. So I'll show you guys this pumpkin here. I only got four this year. Four pumpkins from two plants. 
Look at this bloody big bugger here. Check that one out. There should be a couple of roast pumpkin soups come out of this one. That's a beast. Right. Right, today we're going to be pulling up this kumara or sweet potato out of this garden bed. That is today's mission. What I have here, I've got four. I've got four in here, and I'm about to dig them out. These four plants here are actually growing over this trellis here, and this trellis over here as well. So I'm going to be cutting this ones up. There's four of them in here. We're pulling out today, and somebody's just turned up. So also, while I'm doing this, the garden is quite small, so I need the room to plant some more brassicas. And this would be a great spot to do it. So let's start pulling that vine up. A few little tomatoes there. Those look all right. All right. Let's see if I can pull up this chalice here. Right. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to trim behind here a bit. So my second tea is gone. One, look, yeah, this is the one I planted. Here's one, first decent one. I'll get the spade in there soon and we'll dig up around here, but. Oh, finally, got some there, look, three. Another one. Another good one. I think it's the last one from that hole. Another little one. Three, four, five. I think that's what I planted. What's this one here? And Basically all came out of the same hole. That weird looking one. Check this out. 
These two here are well planted, two orange ones. But oh, these are quite nice. Got some nice ones in there. That's a nice one. And though it took up a bit of room in this little garden, I think it was worth worth taking up the room for. Especially now that I've got got all this to uh, to eat for the family. And that is better than nothing. So that took up all this room here. In my little small garden, here it is. Let's move the photo here. This will store my Kumara over winter, let them dry for a little bit, and I just wrapped it up in newspaper. And this is quite a good container for them, it's got air in them, so it'll get a lot of air through it. There you go. This video is finally finished after about five months. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got something from this video. Hope you have success with growing your Kumara sweet potato wherever you are. Easy is as long as you have some room to grow them. The trellis system I think works really well. I'll definitely be doing that next year or this year, end of the year. So now I'm going to get this garden bed here ready so I can plant some more brassicas. Probably some broccoli would be nice in here. And also get it ready. My other bed over here, we'll get that ready for growing some garlic. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys all on the next video. Take it easy. Bye.